invading New York. Houston, we have landed. First stop, Five Below. At Five Below, I saw this ripoff of a Hot Wheels track. It's made by graphics and includes a cheap plastic car. I also noticed several variations of the Optimus Prime diecast. Look at them carefully, see if you can spot the variations. On one, I have seen a splotch of gray paint on the fender. Next, Toys R Us number one. They had a 2011 Ford Explorer in the Country Road series, a black bandit B100 van, and a Ford Mustang GT. Now onto some in-store video. Like bandits. Yo, did you see a goalie from the Rangers? I don't watch hockey, but <laughs> I don't watch hockey. That's the one sport I don't watch. The only time I watch hockey is if you fight. Yeah, if I'm flipping through the shadows and I see them fighting. Besides that, no. <laughs> Ouch. Uh.
I can tell you this, that this is really picked through right now. All of this I'm not going to really bother looking through. Really nothing. I have one of these already. Garage grinder. Huh. 149. It's pretty expensive. The newest wave. Later that night, I went to another Toys R Us. Some pretty bear pegs here. Lots of empty pegs here. Red, white, and blue. Shelby collectibles. I don't even know how, many, how much these are. Auto lift sets. I don't even know what this one's doing here. Two and beat the heat. Uh, I don't think this one's a green machine because it's green on the card up here. Auction block. Rusty car. I don't know what these are, are they just like green lights and like Johnny Lightnings put in a different package? I don't know why, but this one kind of looks like a white lightning, but it's not made by green, it's not made by Johnny Lightning. It's Shelby Clinton. One out of five thousand. Real confusing. And this is all picked through here. Nothing here. Random matchbox here and some delivery series. The gold submarine. It's just crazy here. Um. Oh, die. Mix of international short cards and US long cards. Really nothing here. Cycles. Tracks. Matchbox all emptied out, except for a few of these from early 2012. Some newer-ish ones. And, uh, some sale. Uh, two for eight seventy-nine. All the five packs are gone. Yeah, so they're pretty much out of a lot of stuff. Oh, great day. Hey, I just, um, I just realized this. The iNitro speeders. Hey, look at this. It's a mini. This one, I think it's based off of the casting from 2011. In the similar decals and colors. The, uh, Mini Cooper S Challenge. I remember getting one of these, the, uh, basic cars. So now, it's enjoying a run in the iNitro speeder song. Thought that's pretty cool. Now I'm gonna sum up the day's finds. So, this is what I got at the first Toys R Us. The green light black bandit collection. One out of 3,756, the 2013 
Ford Police Interceptor Utility. I believe this is the first one of the first times this casting's been used. Because it's a 2013 model. It's got the stealth mode to it, stealth paint mode to it. I really like that. And an interesting uh, thing behind this is actually back home. I've actually seen a Ford Police Interceptor, the Ford Explorer one, in all black. And the paint on the real all black interceptors is in the sun. You cannot see the words police on it. But once the sun goes away, you can see the police decals on the real, on the real car show up. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I had to get this one. But there's something kind of interesting here. It says black, the all black, um, continue to build on the outlaw vehicle reputation. Although, this is a police vehicle. I thought that was kind of funny. And next, I got... A factory error, limited error, uh, Matchbox Garage Grinder. It's supposed to say Garbage Grinder. I thought this was pretty interesting. There was another one which I left. Um, they say this is supposed to be only for the Canadian slash international mixes. So, after dinner, we go to this shopping plaza which happens to have a Toys R Us in it. So, go around Hot Wheels, very slim pickings, which seems to be the standard for New York pegs. And then, I go over to the higher grade die cast, very empty pegs. And then, I find this. Two thousand ten says one of five thousand. Try and get a little more lightning on there. You can see there. Here's a dusty car and some more of the Shelby's, I believe. This one's all black, and you won't believe the deal I got on it. I owe this find to my father. I told him that this kind of looked a little strange, this all white tires. And then he went on his iPhone and price checked it on one of the scanner apps and it came out to be around forty five to a hundred dollars so then he went over to the price checker and it scanned up as fifteen dollars fifteen dollars for ten of these cars and I couldn't believe it so it took this box again, and I scanned it again. Yep, fifteen dollars. So, a couple of days later, we go out to Manhattan. There were various five packs. Each of them were at priced at fifteen dollars each. A bit steep. Next, they have these single cars priced at $5 each. I didn't end up getting any of them because they just weren't realistic. Here's an interesting item, a Best Lock Sanitation Garbage Truck. They had two Code 3 collectibles priced at $60. Here's a cool 
Department of Transportation. Here is a garbage truck for $15. $15 taxi. Subway car. Here is another subway car for $15. And an articulated bus. This one was $25. Here's the Staten Island Ferry with three vehicles. Manhole cover. Sanitation, sanitary inspection grade mugs, towels, and magnets. So the summary was, I really didn't get anything because the prices were just too high for unrealistic products. Based on all those factors, I rate the store a C. A few days later, we end up going to a third Toys R Us. Here are the pegs. C case, but look through, it's already all picked through. Batmobile. Now for the green light. Ford Mustang GT. Here's the Ford Interceptor Utility. Got the black banded edition. Gotta say the black. And the stealth look looks better than the white. That's like, go that one. Some hot pursuits. I don't know if I'm gonna find Green Machine. I don't know. Motor Worlds. I think this may be a Green Machine. Possibly, I don't know. And then there's a mini club man. Yeah, the MG. And now for the finds. All right, I hit another Toys R Us today. A cousin had to return something. So we went to Toys R Us. This one was in Roosevelt Field, New York. Near the Roosevelt Field Mall. Um, got the Dodge Viper, as you may have seen in the in-store video. And then I got the Mini Cooper Clubman. Really like this one. Seen a few in my area back home. This is the British uh, Motor World series, series seven, and this is the American edition Motor World series seven. So you can see in seri this series seven, there's a whole lot of Germany, a few USA, and only one Britain. Actually, the uh, Mini is a British car made in Germany. So, there are the two. This concludes my venture into New York. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I will have a video up with some pictures soon. Bye.